Here are two ways to set up the strat indicators on TradingView. The first indicator is going to be the strat teach v2 by Nagami. So first you go to the indicators tab on TradingView at the top of the screen. Then you type in the strat and you should see that it's the first one, the strat teach v2 by Nagami. Now if you hover to the left, you can favorite this indicator and now it's going to be in your favorites. Once you click the strat teach v2, this is what the default setting looks like. You see that you have your strat numbers, the one, two, and three candles. It also shows the direction as well with the directional candles, whether it's a two down or a two up candle. On the bottom right of the screen, it shows us ATR, the average true range for that stock, the time frame continuity, whether the day, week, month, or year is red or green, as well as if the current candlestick is actionable. So if you look at here on SPY, we are currently a two up and an inside candle. So you see that we are setting up for either a two one two up or a two one two down shown in the bottom right hand of the screen. Now, if you want to change the settings for this particular indicator, you go to the left of the screen where you'll see the indicator on the left and you click on the settings tab. If you want to remove the two candles off your screen, you can uncheck the two up and the two down candles. Now you can see that we only have the three ones. If you click on one of the numbers, you will also bring up the settings. You can change the colors of the numbers. You can choose to have VWAP settings as well. There's so many things that you can do with this indicator. You can also uncheck the strap patterns if you don't want them highlighted for the actionable signal. Now, once you have the settings that you prefer, you want to make sure that you're saving your settings in the bottom left corner of the settings pop up tab save as default and now these are going to be your settings moving forward you also want to make sure that you are saving this indicator template how do you save your indicator template if you go to the four boxes to the right of the indicators tab this is where you get indicators template click on save indicator template and you can name it the strat teach v2 once this is saved, let's say you accidentally remove your indicators. How can you bring that back up without going back to the indicators tab, typing out the strat teach v2? Well, now you have it saved as an indicator template. Click on the four boxes, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see the strat teach v2. And here is that indicator with the same settings that you saved. Now on to method number two. And these require two indicators. The first indicator is going to be candle type the strat by Krinklebrein. If you go to indicators and you type that in, it will be the first one. Of course, you can favorite it as well. And once you click on it, you will see the indicator with the strat candles. Now you can click on one of the strat numbers and change the settings. If you want the two candles removed, just uncheck bar type two label. Now you only have the three one candles. You can save this as well by clicking on the number again, going to the bottom left of the screen and save as default. And now the indicator is saved to your preference. The second indicator to have alongside with this indicator is going to be the time frame continuity indicator by board Rider B. If you go to indicators and you type in time frame continuity, it will be the first one by board rider B. Make sure you are saving that as well. This indicator highlights what the current candlestick is for the day, the week, the month, the quarter, and the year. So when you know you're in full time frame continuity, that will be represented by a green day, a green week, a green month, a green quarter, and a green year. When you're full time frame continuity to the downside, of course, you know that's going to be a red day, red week, red month, red quarter, and a red year. Now, you want to make sure that you save these indicators together. So you'll be creating another indicator template if you choose to use this method, and you can save this as the strat. Now, if you remove these indicators and you want to go back to it with your desired settings, you just click on the strat and now you have your desired settings for the candle type, the strat indicator, as well as a time frame continuity indicator. So these are two ways to set up your the strat indicators for TradingView. I hope this helps and good luck in trading.